Hey everyone, Ace of Clay here, and welcome to another video. In this one, I'm gonna try to entertain you as much as possible by transforming this Christmas angel decoration into a creepy doll for use as a Halloween decoration. I really like this one because it moves too, wanna see? Now, you know, I kind of feel bad doing this because it's just so nice. I mean, for $5 at the thrift store, like you can't beat this quality. There's nothing wrong with this. So I do feel bad. But when you think about it, she spent the first half of her life doing Christmas. Now she can spend the second half of her life doing Halloween. Everybody loves a well-rounded resume. All right, now let's get into the transformation. All right, so the first step to doing this is we need to take all of the fabric off of this, the dress, even the hair and the wings and all that stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. And this is gonna be tons of fun because everything is Velcro that has been hot glued to. So they really didn't want you taking this shit off. Oh boy. Oh, so what'd you do today? Oh, you know, the usual. Probably just cut the dress off, I guess, right? And then we'll glue it back. I need scissors. Here's some ASMR vibes for you. Enough of that, I hate those videos. And then this is what we have to work with. Now I also need to detach the hair. So we're gonna start by just detaching the crown here. Get that crown off. Make this easy for me. Oh, ow. oh my God, that's on there so good. Get off. Just more ASMR for you here. Wow, that's really on there. All right, almost there, almost there. This is so bad, I feel horrible. It's all for a good cause. So when we're done, we're gonna have a really cool Halloween decoration. The last piece, the ASMR. The hair is off. All right, let's get into the fun part now because that wasn't fun enough. All right, I've gone ahead and prepped my workspace. I got my paints, I got some yellow, some black, some brown and white. They're all either folk art or Americana. Now the first thing I'm gonna wanna do is mix the base color. So what should the base color be? I'm gonna do like a greenish yellowy color. All right, now with a fairly large brush, I'm going to get like a medium tone here. And then I'm going to stop when I get to a point that I like. And I know you're not supposed to mix your paints with a paintbrush, but I don't care. So judge me all you want, I don't care. Now we could probably just mix all of these together and it'll be the exact shade I'm looking for. And it is, look at that. All right, grab our doll. Make sure we don't get paint all over the place. And I'm just going to coat the face with this base color here. And I'm just gonna go over the eyes too because I don't care. This is a creepy doll. It's not gonna be in a beauty pageant. All right, so it's already looking pretty scary. All right, now I'm gonna do the hands. I really wish that I would've Oh, I've done this with a smaller doll because it's so hard to keep her in the frame. All right, so now that we've got the entire surface covered with our color, it's time to start the detail work already, believe it or not. Next, we're gonna go in with some shading. I'm going to do that by darkening the color I already have simply by adding some more black. All right now I'm just gonna go into the eye area and sort of stipple my darker color in there. All right, that's looking pretty good so far. I'm gonna go ahead and darken my color a little bit more. I'm gonna try to do all of this without making a huge mess. Okay, just go in there. Staying closer to the eye. All right, that's looking pretty good. All right, now I'm just gonna go in and highlight some of these areas. And I like, I like the little texture that my brush is doing here. the hands a bit. I'm gonna 
next thing I'm gonna do is get some red. I'm going to dull out the red by mixing it with this gray color here. Let's dull it out a little bit and we're gonna give her some rosy cheeks and lips. Start with the lips. It's looking pretty good. We're gonna give her some rosy cheeks. Now, should we give her eyebrows? I vote yes. Or actually, yeah, we're gonna do the eyebrows. Is that creepy enough for you yet? Do a couple eyelashes too, why not? It's getting weird in here. Well, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a toothpick and I'm going to scrape the paint off her eyes. That looks pretty weird. Now, I don't wanna overdo the scary factor on it because it's pretty scary as it is, so I'm not gonna give her like red eyes or anything crazy. I think I'm just gonna do black eyes. Just enough to sort of glaze over everything. I still wanna see that iris through them though, so I'm just gonna wipe off the top part here and just paint the whites. That looks weird. All right, now it looks like our face is pretty much done, but what I wanna do is I wanna dull out those eyebrows a little bit and make it look like the paint's been chipped off. That's looking pretty good. I think she's done, the face at least. Now it's time to do the clothes and the hair. First, I wanna take off all this frilly gold stuff because I don't want it. Now the fun part. Now it's time to stain this to look old and disgusting. So I'm just going to take the base color I used for her face and I'm gonna add some more yellow to it. Dip my brush in water and then just have at it. So now that we've got our dress painted, I'm gonna hang this to dry and then I will come back and put it on her. All right, so now it's time for the hair. I went ahead and brushed it out the best I could, get out the tangles, and now we are going to essentially paint it the same way that we painted the dress. So I'm just going to take some black paint, mix it with a little bit of water, and I'm going to start painting the hair. All right, and there you have it. Your hair is painted. Now it's time to let this dry and then we will be attaching it to our doll. Now to make this even creepier, while everything's drying, I'm going to glaze her eyes using my Americana Triple Thick glossy acrylic varnish. Just going to paint over each eye to get this creepy, shiny effect going on here. How does that look? Getting weird. All right, so then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to paint her candle a different color too, just so it's not white. I'm just gonna do that by antiquing it. All right, now that everything is completely dry, it is time to Reattach it to the doll using hot glue. And then here, what I'm doing is creating a new collar for the dress because the other one was gold and we didn't want to use it. So I'm just going to take this extra strip that I cut off from the back of the dress and hot glue the edges down and use that for the new collar. Now I'm going to attach the collar to the doll by hot gluing it on. And now it's time to stick the hair back on. The 
Then I'm going to replace her little light bulb with a creepy flickering flame one. Ooh. And she's done. What do you think? Did I do a good job? Did I not? Did it suck? Did you love it? Let me know in the comments. Be sure to subscribe for more videos like this. Like this video and then follow me on Instagram and Facebook at Ace of Clay. And I will see you in the next video. Time to go put her away. Far, far away. Oh, 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 oh,